Welcome Nerf Nerds, Net Warriors, and Action Gamers alike for another exciting episode of No Eye Protection Productions. I am excited to bring you this tutorial, finally, after a busy holiday break. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's Eve. Today I'm going to show you how to play Nova 3 on the Nox app player. Now there's, a, there's plenty of options out there for playing Android games on the PC. This is just the one that happens to work on my computer. So this control setup is awesome. So you can have a couple different emulators running at once if your computer is fast enough. I like to keep one per game. So here I've got Nova 3 to get it started here. The control setup is it's so fluid and there's so much you can do. This is because I started playing this on my phone, hated it. There was a couple other games I was playing on my phone and I was like, I could use a controller for this, but that's a whole nother thing. In fact, if you want me to do a tutorial on Droid Key, I can, but I think there's plenty en enough, there's plenty good enough explanations of it out there, but I'm using a controller, but I'm going to show you how you can tell it to do stuff on the screen, like it's a tablet or a phone. This one happens to be like a tablet. So this makes playing Nova 3 so much easier and it's almost like having an Android game console on your computer because you can just open this up, install anything. You can save it. I'm going to show you how to do that after the end. But I'm going to jump into a level here that I have all the controls ready. Um, this one. Cal has reunited with his old friend Rufus on the planet Boreas. Now, he and Rufus are making their way to an abandoned communication center in the hopes of discovering the location of the final judge. So here's like level five, I think. Oh, also, you need right click available Both to rights. enter this the aim mode. Okay, dialogue's over. So I'm using controller because the shift I, I mapped aim to shift because you need right click to enter your aim mode on the emulator so that's why using controller makes it a lot easier but after I get past this wave I'll show you how it kind of works okay so you got this button over here let me get out of aim mode you got this button over here which gives you other controls oh where They're all done, control. of course. Right. Clear. I'm going to redo it because they're a little buggy anyway. So here, you got direction control. You drag it down here. Resize it a little bit. Because you might have a joystick in a game that is a little small. But this one is all over the screen. And it'll automatically give you WASD. And then, our next order of business. If once you get through, you get more... Um, moves and you have some abilities down here so you're going to want to do swiping for the different abilities so i'll save it real quick actually no so you've got uh time freeze oops that was change weapon and also if you're just tired of right clicking with your mouse i i even set it to select so i can just get to the center and select now i'm back into aim mode and if you're on the keys, you, it's a little different, but I've figured out something on the keyboard and then and then I'm using Joy to key over here. Anyway, first things first. So you've got time freeze. Wow, I keep forgetting. How to, okay, B. Time freeze mode or time slow down, slow mo mode, and then you have oops. I guess I'm gonna go to the left. And then you have a uh, this thing freezes enemies. I'll show you here. Okay. Uh, between cutscenes, you may have to uh, unselect aim mode, and there we go. We... You may have to click right click. You may have to right click twice to get back into aiming. Um, that's what's nice about having it nearby. And if you're on the keyboard and mouse, that's no problem either. Okay, 
Next, we have reloading. You just tap this thing up here. I decided I want a QE &E to swipe through these. It looks like, uh, and grenades, and yeah, anything you touch on the screen, it's just like you're touching the screen on your phone or tablet. It's amazing. And I'm now I'm playing this game on my PC. So yeah, um, grenades work. Oh, no, that was a landmine. Uh, for that one, you gotta go over here and click. But, uh, yeah, everything works. Abilities work, jump works, running works. And yeah, there's little things. I mean, when you interact with objects, you gotta obviously unclick, move it over, click. Okay, last topic. If you want to save your progress, or if you want to really save your progress, go in here. Oh, dang, I need to stop this one. Make sure you're, the one that you want to save is stopped. Click on backup slash restore. Click on backup. And I won't do it because I already have it backed up. Actually, I don't. Let's do it. Um, I'll show you. Where should we write it? We're going to. I have a. Make a folder. Desk documents or something. Um, Knox backups. Nova 3 campaign. Overwrite which one you want or make a new one. Make sure it works. Because if your computer is not fast enough, it might just get stuck at 99%. That happened to be the first time. And. Just give it a bit, and when you go to restore it, it should work. No guarantees, but it's supposed to. <laughs> See all of the things, make a backup file system in case anything goes wrong. Now before I up and leave, I'll show you things you need to do. I mean, it's just like having a mobile device, you gotta go in and Click on apps, clear the data, or the temp data, so that everything doesn't freeze up eventually. And you also would be good to go into, which one is it? You click on all, and you go down to media storage. And you wanna clear that one. That's gonna help your emulator run a little bit faster. So yeah, that's kinda how I do it and it gets a little buggy sometimes and you have to mess around with it and the whole end game here was I was hoping to play on multiplayer from my computer um, if you have a game loft account you can also jump right in and your progress will be saved between devices I think I mean it should be um, so that's cool I'm gonna show you joy to key really quick just for the heck of it because it's cool but you can go, there's plenty of good tutorials on this thing out there. Um, you shouldn't have any trouble downloading it. The tricky part is uh, finding the right driver for your controller. But you basically map, basically press buttons and find which one lights up. And then you go assign a button to it. And yeah. I just think this thing is really cool so I wanted to show you guys and that about, that about, that's about it. So if you have any questions, comment below. Um, I did kind of just go over the gist of it, but yeah, this game is cool and you guys should play it and it's way more fun on your computer. So yeah, um, hope you guys have fun out there and we'll see you next episode. Rufus. I think I found the room you were talking about. The big screen says system offline.